Hello everyone and welcome back to the garden. I thought um, I would show you around because it's been a little while since we've done an update video and a lot of things are blooming. I took a little bit of a break but now getting back into this I wanted to show you the calla lilies. Now I planted a small little bit of calla lilies and I recently weeded them. Things were looking really really great. I was really excited to show you all of these amazing blooms. Uh, they're just so kind of elegant and sophisticated and fancy looking. We had a bunch of colors. We had like the Picasso one, which is this white and purple uh, beautiful blend. We had some darker ones. And um, I went away for a couple days just because I needed a break from the garden. Um, I definitely have bitten off more than I can chew this year, I will admit. And I'm putting way too much stuff in the backyard and I am so overwhelmed by what's going on back here. But I came back and I was going to pick these and show you and guess what? The Japanese beetles arrived in the, you know, day and a half that I was gone. The Japanese beetles showed up. Hooray! Don't you just love these things? Um, they are devouring this. This is the only plant that they're devouring in the garden right now, but they have mangled every single one of these blooms. Um, fortunately, we can save the bulbs for next year. Just going to let that foliage die back naturally and uh, we won't have any problems next year. I'll use a row cover or something. Lesson learned. I forgot about the timing with the Japanese beetles. Also beginning to bloom, we have some of our earliest Elysianthus flowers. You can see there's some grass in there. I got to get in there and get that grass out. I know. It's just grass. Uh, this is Doublini Blue. Doublini is a little bit smaller and rather than one big flower where we kind of get uh, a kind of a spray of multiple little flowers. This is the blue one. It's very much a kind of bluish purple color, but very beautiful um, nonetheless. Excited to see more of those. We also have our snapdragon starting to open up. This is the uh, Maryland Apple Blossom Snapdragon, and it is gorgeous. Uh, beautiful white with this beautiful kind of pink blush in the middle. And I will admit to you, um, the snapdragons are a little bit of a failure this year. I'm going to mark them a failure. The main reason I'm not really happy with the snapdragons is we had a really strong thunderstorm and they were all blown over. They got like flattened. This orange snapdragon, this one is called Cool Orange. That's just the entire name of it. Um, unfortunately, um, I didn't really get too many of these. This is really all I got from an entire package of seed that I planted. And this is the Potomac Lavender. And you can see I have a light purple pink color and a dark purple pink color. Um, this is the first time I've grown this, so I'm not sure if it's common to get off types like this or if my seed that I purchased was mixed up or what's going on. If you have any experience with that, be sure to let me know if that's a common thing in the comments because I was under the impression it was going to be all that light shade. Also, oh, the lilies are starting to bloom. This is the Casablanca Oriental Lilies. These are the first Oriental Lilies to bloom. Very beautiful, very fragrant. Uh, that's one of the reasons I love them so much. Also, some of our Asiatic Lilies are starting to bloom. And I'm sorry that I don't remember all the names for these. I'm going to, you know, go back and look at my order form list and write the name of each one of these on the screen so you can see we have this first one it's kind of blush it looks like it's been spray painted it's like a light pink with a darker splash of dark pink there very beautiful um, I really really like that one and we also had a bucket full of these deep dark rich burgundy ones and uh, this color isn't really the usual kind of color that I go for honestly being totally honest um, but they're very nice. They're very pretty. I like how dark the red is. It's almost like a very dark red black color. I'm not sure if I would ever use these. And we have these last ones that are a little bit of a peach color, which are also nice. We also have our first success in a while with our gladiolas. You'll remember last year we planted some gladiolas and we had problems with thrips. These are actually the gladiolas that I planted from last year blooming now. I had dug them up before the winter and I'd soaked them in a bleach solution so that we could get rid of all the thrips and everything and then I replanted and uh, we finally have some blooms coming on so looking forward to that. We also have this super duper fancy petunia mix and uh, the name of these is Italian so I'm not even going to try it because y'all don't want to hear me speak Italian that's for sure um, but these are gorgeous. These are a, a very tall kind of 
um, kind of like the heirloom petunias that are very tall and long stemmed and you can use them in flower arrangements of these a lot of these have a double flower which is insanely gorgeous I can't even begin to tell you how beautiful these are in person they are so pretty our hydrangea bush is also making tons and tons of flowers at the moment which is interesting because I have this planted in the worst spot in the garden and it's just doing so well um, for the first four years I've had this hydrangea bush, it always made purple pink flowers and now for some reason this year it turned blue. Don't know, maybe my soil is acidic now. I'm not sure how it would have turned acidic other than the fact that my neighbor on the other side of the fence uses miracle Grow like crazy so maybe something happened there, I don't know, honestly. Um, here is a closer look at these petunias and I thought I need to make a flower arrangement with these. What am I going to do? Let's put this purple and blue together. Now I know this whole purple and blue combination isn't a traditional color combination. In fact, I don't think I can recall ever seeing a flower arrangement with this shade of blue and this shade of purple. I'm not quite sure if it goes together, but that's the fun part of flower arrangements. I thought maybe if I could blend it together with a zinnia, like this uh, Little Flower Girl zinnia from Florit, maybe that would kind of help blend the colors together. You can see with these zinnias they have that purple center so I thought the purple center would kind of play with the purple and the petunias and the kind of blue tones. I don't think it worked out though. I don't think it looked all that great. So um, even though I put them in here and here's what they look like in here, I ended up actually just taking those zinnia flowers out because it didn't seem like it went. I also added some mulberry branches to it which I think looked okay. Overall, I'm not, I mean, this isn't my most favorite flower arrangement that I've made, uh, but I think it's definitely nice, and it looked very nice sitting on my kitchen table, which, um, you know, that's all that matters. As long as you make something that you like and enjoy, um, that's the beauty of growing your own cut flowers. Um, that's really about it for this video. I um, no, it was a short one, but it just, you know, um, I'm been kind of struggling to keep going with the channel lately. Uh, definitely overwhelming myself a little bit. So I'm just kind of gently getting back into the flow of things, getting back into the rhythm of posting videos and everything like that. So uh, should be some more content coming soon. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have a lot of Lysianthus blooming soon. Um, other than that, leave a comment if you want. I would love to hear from you as always. If you have a question, you can, um, you know, just leave a comment on Instagram or down in the comments below. That is the best way to reach me because, honestly, my email, my inbox is full of spam and all kinds of stuff. And uh, some of you guys, your notes have been lost in there, so I do apologize for that. Uh, just leave me a comment if you want. I hope that y'all are having an amazing day, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.